This video is transboundary pollution affecting a large area or more than one country. So transboundary pollution is pollution that originates in one country but affects another country. So the causes, so we're going to look at the 2050, 2015 Southeast Asian haze. So the causes were forest fires, slush and burn practices, palm oil plantations, the power of TNCs such as Coca-Cola and Unilever. Indonesia produced 85% of palm oil in 2015 globally. There were dry conditions from May to October, which exacerbated the forest fires. In 2016, palm oil industry was worth 18.6 billion US dollars. Also, the El Nino phenomenon caused dry conditions, exacerbating forest fires. Um, this led to consequences such as health ones, um, stinging eyes, and asthma issues. And in September 2015, Airports closed in Butterworth and Penang in Malaysia, and there was 900 meters of visibility distance, so obviously not very safe. 7,000 schools were closed in Malaysia for two days. The Indonesian government estimated $35 million be mitigated, be invested to mitigate the haze. Um, events were cancelled, such as the 2015 FINA World Fina Swimming World Cup and Peckinbaru city halls were transformed into care centers for babies. There are protests and there were masks put on statues as a form of protesting against the pollution. Uh, and then responses were the round table on sustainable palm oil production, um, kind of interfering and they certify 20% of the global supply of palm oil and it's used by L'Oreal and ASEAN agreement was made to reduce illegal clearing. Indonesia was the last to join, however, but they did join nevertheless. Indonesia and Malaysia did card seeding and they dumped water on fires from helicopters. There was the provision of free masks and oxygen cylinders and there was the Thailand Air for Asian Summit also to track the haze made by this um, event. 